Hey friends, my name is Hannah and you are watching the Wishing Clock channel here on YouTube. Today I have for you a what sold slash weekly recap um, of my sales on both Poshmark and Mercari. Mercari was kind of quiet this week and I only sold one item. Sorry, you can see a little cat tail peeking out right there. <laughs> um, and uh, so the majority of course was on Poshmark. I am going to go over the weekly total with you and then we will jump into what items are selling quickly or slowly, um, all that good stuff, you know, the information that we need uh, to know what's going on in the world outside of our own closet or sales page. So first off, I did make over $1,200 this week. I made $1,232 which is fabulous. That is right where I want to be. Um, and if you guys are interested in knowing, which I'm sure you are, after fees, shipping, discounts, cost of goods, that stuff that takes out a chunk, I still made $823.55, which is where I want to be. Of course, I'd like it a little bit more. Wouldn't we all? We'd always like to just keep making more money. Um, but that's a really great place to be at for me. Um, the majority of you know, if you're new here, I work out of the primary bedroom that my boyfriend and I are in. Um, I took over two thirds of our walk-in closet for storage. I put my clothes into a very tiny linen closet and that's where, you know, my clothes stay so that I can do this and have storage for items. I also raised our bed <laughs> and put storage bins that slide in and out underneath our bed. So that's where the majority of my items are stored. I have totes right here where items that need to be listed are kept permanently um, and it you know keeps the animal hair away from it because I do have pets as you can see with the little tail moving back here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the actual items that sold for you, the information that's going to help you when you're outsourcing to find items um, that are also going to make you money because we all want to make money. Uh, the first item we're going to go over is actually a snow hat and I picked it up at the bins for some odd cents. Um, it's an Ibex or Ibex, excuse me, <laughs> um, palm hat and it is wool. This brand just sells really well. This sat for a little over 60 days, but it is spring and summer and you know, we're not in the time of year for this item. So I knew that I would sit for a little bit. Um, I sold it during a sale that I ran for $12, so I'm, you know, made several dollars off of an item that I just grabbed out of a bin. Very happy with that. <laughs> um, the next item is a silver Nike golf skirt. This one sat for quite a bit. It did sit for over 60 days, um, but eventually it did sell during that discount sale that I just mentioned for $12 as well. So, um... Yeah, can't complain. Another bins pickup. I do have another skirt that just sold that I'm going to share with you right now um, this week as well. And it sold for a better amount. So I'm wondering if it's the color or maybe the style. I'm not sure. That kind of caused the variation in um, price. But the other Nike golf skirt that sold... Come on now. Sorry, I've got my computer here. That way I can kind of keep track of my life um, because I could not do this off of memory. It sold for $26. It is in a black color. It's also one of their tour performance skirts. So I'm wondering if maybe that style just does better. Um, regardless, I would pick this item up at the bins for some odd sense because it is something that is going to do well for me. So, you know, c'est la vie. The next item we're going to go over is Free People, and this is a Y2K Free People. It's older, very old. Um, it sold for $30, though, and I did pick it up. Sorry, that got a notification. I did pick it up for 2 bucks. so a $30 flip is, you know, absolutely wonderful. I'm making a 20 and get to put that back in my pocket. The next item is, I'm kind of surprised, it's a super plain Legence t-shirt. It's a very soft stretch fabric, so 
of course that does you know help especially during this time of year but um it's a legence resi tea in navy and it sold for twenty dollars via an offer sent to me i believe can't complain about that uh, the next item is a pair of theory pants. These were yellow. I thought they would sell for more. I think I picked them up at a thrift store for uh, 6 or $7. But as you guys know on this channel, my average cost of goods is usually right around $2 every month. So that is the metric that I use when um, I do use the average when I calculate the cost of goods each week. So uh, they sold for $25 via an offer sent to me and I made 20 Still a good flip. Uh, next, 41 Hawthorne. I need to pick this brand up more. I always forget that it's a Stitch Fix brand, and this print was really cute. It also sold for $20, um, and I found it at the bins, and it's super lightweight, so very happy about that. Next item is Soft Surroundings, and this was a risky pickup. However, I picked it up because of the color and the fact that there was a variation in the lace detailing and things like that. I figured that somebody would really enjoy that detail. And that did end up becoming true. This item sold for $26 with a shipping discount. And I made a little over 17, 18 bucks. The next item is a pair of J. Crew Billy. Sorry if you can hear the garbage man back out there. <laughs> uh, never a good time to film. J. Crew Billy Demi Boot Step Hem Button Fly Pants. These were in like new condition. I only pick up J. Crew jeans if they are in amazing condition and when I do they usually sell pretty quickly. The exception is a size 24 or smaller seems to do terribly, like even worse than you know in other brands where you expect it to sit for a little bit. So I do not recommend picking up those sizes. This size was a 26 and it still sold for the $29 so. The next item is Eileen Fisher, an oldie but a goodie. Um, this was the Italian yarn cardigan in a silk and linen blend that I hauled recently for you guys on this channel, and it sold for $35, which is a wonderful flip. It sold in less than 30 days. Cannot complain about that. The next item is a pair of Dansko Frito wedges. Frida, not Frito. Bilbo Baggins. Uh, <laughs> Frito wedges. And these were picked up at the bins as well. They sold for $30. They did sit for quite a bit. However, I picked them up during the winter season. So I kind of knew that it was going to be one of those cases where it sat for 60 days. I relisted it and then it sold. And that ended up being the case. They were in excellent condition. Um, yeah, happy with that sale. The next item is an Anthro Maeve dress. And this was in a size zero petite and it still sold. It did take over 90 days. This was one of the oldest items in my closet. Oh, wait, no. It didn't take 90 days. I'm thinking of another one. This one did take over 60 days. Um, but eventually I received an offer for $25. So I made 20 bucks on this. And it did have the slightest bit of yellowing under the armpits. It wasn't obvious in the pictures. But I still did provide pictures of that specific area and note it in the listing. Um, just so that, you know, the buyer would know that it was... The next item is some cool shorts. Um, this was picked up in a pile in the bins that I found of about four or five pieces of the cool brand. Um, they're cargo shorts, size eight. It sold for $31. Absolutely wonderful flip, very quick as well. Next is August the Label, and this was a new brand find for me. Um, golden yellow, Revolve brand. Boho, Cottage Core, the whole nine yards. It sold quickly via an offer sent to me for $30. I could have gotten more for this. <clears throat> However, I sent the buyer a sale offer for I think like $48 with a 20% off. And uh, she sent me a nice note, which usually doesn't work, but she said, hey, I know that this is lower than you could get for this skirt because it's so pretty. But because I like it so much, I figure I would offer you what I can. And if you cannot accept, then it's no big deal. And I think because they entered the conversation and the negotiation so humbly, I was much more willing to accept it. Also, I found it at the bin, so it was very cheap. Um, yeah. The next item that sold was a Free People dress. And this was the Lamar printed hot coral pattern. It was also a Revolve piece. It sold for $35 with a shipping discount. 
Um, yeah. Let's see. The next item we're going to go over is Adriana Papel, and this is a white crochet dress. I picked it up for $2, I want to say, at the $2 sale at a thrift store near me. Um, it's a size 12, and it sold for $20. Uh, this brand has gone down, I think, in what it will sell for, but, I mean, you know, that's okay, especially when you're picking it up for two. The next item, you've probably seen this before in a previous what sold video and it is the Eileen Fisher zip sweater 100% merino wool um brand new that I found at that two dollar thrift sale and um so I sent them the wrong item oops I sent them the icebreaker cowl neck sweater that I had hauled a couple weeks ago um so yeah last week I sent them that sweater by accident they ended up keeping the sweater um, and then purchase this item. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm making money off of these items. Um, <laughs> so it sold for $43 via an offer that they sent to me, which is a little bit lower than the previous offer. Um, totally fine with that because it was my mistake. I'm willing to, you know, make things right. Uh, great flip though. Next item, another new to me brand was a brand called Black Crane. This is an oversized lag and look brand. It was wool very heavy um, and very thick. It took up a lot of space, so I was willing to, you know, really let it go for a much lower offer than uh, what I had it priced at. It sold for $40. I probably could have gotten anywhere from $75 to $100 for it, but again, this time of season, the fact that it took up so much space and I am limited on space, and it was an item from the bins, I'm more than happy with the $40 sale. The person was happy. They gave me a five-star rating on Word We Go. The next item is another cool brand, Pant, and this is the Canvas Writer um, Tech. I don't know what that implies, but there's like a little description on the pocket for it. Um, in like new condition, they sold for $40. Excellent flip. That brand is just one of my favorite like outdoor and... Um, active wear brands. It honestly, I like it better than Patagonia or Prana or Columbia or, you know, just any of that type. Uh, REI, I way prefer cool. The next item is a Wrap London woven knit sweater. This was a very thick sweater yet again. Um, Wrap London is a more lag and look minimalist brand. I picked up three items from this brand at the $2 sale. The dress sold for... I want to say around 40. Um, this only sold for 16. I sent out a sale offer on it due to the fact that it's not the right season for it. And, um, it took up a lot of space again. It was a size 14. It sold for $16. I do believe that I could have gotten closer to the 30 and $40 range, but I'm not worried about it. Next item. You'll remember this from a haul if you've watched it. It's a pair of Farm Rio pants in the Cala, Laurel, Bell Bottom, Flare, etc., etc., etc. They sold for $30 via an offer sent to me. They sold a little bit lower than I would have liked, but it's because I found um, a couple uh, loose strings on them. So I didn't want to, you know, not disclose those. <laughs> The next item is an Ibex wool skirt, and I literally just hauled this. This is another one of my favorite outdoor brands. Um, sold for $44 for a skirt that I just recently found at a bin. Love it. The next item we have is Fear of God Essentials pullover hoodie. This was at the bins. I believe people thought it was fake because it didn't have any sort of Fear of God Um logo or graphic on it on the outside it only had the material tag and then all of the zipper pulls had fog on them and they were very heavy the material of itself was actually very heavy um, so i threw it into my cart i looked up the specific style while i was there indeed discovered that it was real um, it sold for 48 dollars. it did take quite a while but i knew that it would eventually sell so i had a little bit of faith on it um, the next item is a Lucky Brand top. This was the Nua Tags square neck top that I hauled recently. 
Um, very, very cute. It sold for $20 via an offer sent to me, and I am happy with that. Next item, brand new pants by Torrid. These were wide leg, linen blend, stretch waist, all the good stuff. I was hoping they'd get a little bit more, but they did sell for $25 via an offer sent to me, and no one can complain about that. The next item is Poetry, which is a newer selling brand for me. This is, I think, the second item that sold that I found in a haul recently, and it sold for $42, even though it's a cardigan sweater at this time of year. Um, so really happy. Next is Ted Baker, and this dress is the De Heel Marina uh, Mosaic Lace Dress, and it was a size Ted Baker 2, which equates to about a 6, and um, I gave measurements had the stock photo on it, and it sold for $60 via an offer sent to me. So super happy with that flip. I'm pretty sure that pays for the entire haul of that that uh, piece came from. Next we have AG jeans. These are the midi skinny legging ankle. I think the midi does better than just the regular legging ankle. Um, this was a size 25. It did have a small mark on one of the thighs. Still sold for $29 via an offer sent to me in under 30 days. Fabulous. Love it. <laughs> Next is a brand that you're probably familiar. It's Standard James Purse. This was the surplus button front Supima cotton top. Um, <laughs> and it was in pink and it sold for $30 via an offer sent to me. It did take quite a bit. It was pretty close up on those 60 days, but, you know, eventually it sold. Next is Sundance Midi Skirt. This had an older tag on it. It was at the bins, um, but everything looked great on it. Uh, and it was a size 12, so good size and red. Everybody likes red. So uh, it sold for $37 and I made a really good profit. The next piece is a J. Crew popover blouse. This is an older blouse. I held off on listing it for forever, even though I knew that it should sell because it's a size 12. Um, yeah, I had it in the bins for quite a long time, just kind of kept skipping over it. I eventually just listed it. Somebody sent me a $20 offer, and so I make, you know, 16 minus whatever I paid for it. <laughs> uh, the next piece is Sendry. This brand has gone down in interest, I believe. Uh, the item sold for $30.00. And I make 24 again, just a super random offer that came through and paid for this piece. Next is Monroe, and this is from my recent liquidation video. Um, I paid $7.60, I think, per piece. And um, it was a great investment, I think, because this Revolve sweater just sold for $48 and it was a size extra small. Uh, Monroe is a Revolve brand. It's also sometimes sold on Saks Fifth Avenue um, and a couple other stores. So yeah, very happy about that. Next piece is a Zara dress. This was a blogger favorite. It was midi. Um, I think I priced it too high. <laughs> I priced it for $50 because it was a blogger favorite and I should have known better. Wait, no, I priced it at 40 which is still a little high. I should have priced it between 30 and 35. Um, but it did sell for $20 via an offer sent to me after over 60 days. Next is the Barefoot Dreams Open Cardigan in ultra light, cozy, chic, ribbed, whatever, whatever. Um, <laughs> sorry. I just recently hauled this, like literally, I think it's in my last haul video. I listed it and somebody sent me an offer for $42. If you're a watcher and that's why you knew that I had this item and you purchased it, thank you. Um, yeah, very happy with that flip. So that is all I have for you as far as items that have sold this week. Let me know down below if you're still watching. How did your week go? Um, are you a reseller? Are you not a reseller? Yeah, that's all I've got for you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye guys.